Okay, we're going to finish this row with a decrease. And you're wondering, how many do I have there? You've got your chain three from the very beginning. And you have your two together. That's two stitches. And you've got this one right here. So you've got three. So we're going to decrease this down into two. In the meantime, we're also, we got to bring this black up too. So we're going to go into the first one and start a double crochet. And we're going to go over here where this decrease was and go into that. And this is where we're going to have to bring our yarn up. So I lay that one like that. And I bring this one, this one, because it's, one's in the back and one's in the front. It doesn't matter how you get it up there. Just um, wrap it around. Pull through them two. And we need to bring it again up because it's got to go to the height for the next row. So we're going to go through these two. And I'm going to bring it one more time. Go up, go through that, and go through all three. We finished our row with one double crochet decrease. So we're not going to do any more decreasing now, so you will always have one double crochet at the very beginning. But I need to bring my yarns that I'm going to be using up, and I am going to be using gray and black, so these two are the ones that I'm going to carry up. So I'm going to lay down the one that I'm not using and the color that I'm going to be using is the gray first. So I'm going to pull out the gray and we're going to carry these two colors. So yarn over and pull this through and that's like a single cro uh, a chain one and we're going to do this again for two chains and we're going to do this for three. That way it carries everything up and we're ready to use our black and whatever the next. So this is the non, uh, we're not going to increase anymore. So we're going to finish. So this is a double crochet right there. So turn your work. You're going to lay the white aside because we're not going to use the white where it's gray and black. And whoopsie do, see, make a mistake. We need to change colors at the top up here. So we're going to lay the gray down, pick up the black, and carry the, um, I prefer it to be in the back. Okay, wrap this around carry through because we have to change colors because black goes over here. This stitch goes with this one right there. So as you can see, here's your chain three and that's your, your one stitch right there. So here we go. It's gray and black is what we're working with. So we're going to do a double crochet. One, two, three, and I think you guys could probably hear my rain on the sky dome. And see, and I ended up carrying all of my threads, and I did not mean to do that. So let's go back and do this again. So there's one double crochet. There's two double crochets. There's three double crochets. And remember in the fourth, we're going to start a double crochet. We're going to lay that color down. We're going to pick up the next color. And we're going to finish the double crochet. Give it a little tug. And we're going to do it again. So it's the same stitch all the way across that we've been doing. It's just 
learning how to do the ends, and I probably did not do a very good job, but I hope I did, and wish that you would give it a try the way I showed you. So, go ahead and finish that. So here on the end, you will do two double crochets, I think I did it again. Okay. Here on the end, you will do your two double crochets. In your um, gray color, and then do your return pass, and you will do that. I'm going to do mine two, four, six, six rows, so three squares up. Go ahead and try that and see if that works, and then I'll be right back. 